Hello, this video will explain an important feature of Faro. The does not understand hook. You've no doubt already seen a debugger window with this message. Where does it come from and what is it for? Let's look at an example. We have the object node 1. We'll send this object the message cuckoo, Steph. From node 1, we follow the lookup method back to the object's class. We don't find the cuckoo method in this class. So, we go to the super class, but it's not there either. The virtual system informs us that it can't find a matching method, so it reifies the message. We discussed reification in the video on introspection and reflection. Reify means to represent an implicit concept as an object. Here, it's a message. We create an object to represent the message. It's an instance of message class. The virtual system will resend a message to the object node 1. It sends the does not understand message, passing the object as a parameter. This is a new execution of the lookup algorithm. The system will not find the does not understand method in node class. So, it goes back to search in the super class. It finds the method, abbreviated to DNU. Now, it can now execute the method. Does not understand is a message that the virtual machine sends for you to objects when a message has failed. All classes can redefine this method to give it a specific behavior when a message is not understood. This method is an important tool that allows us to build many features. It's used in automatic delegation, distributed programming, and so on. Here, we'll look at some uses of does not understand. Suppose we want to redirect all our messages to a different object. In a simple delegation, I create an object that stores the target, where messages will be sent. I redefine the does not understand method. It takes the object a message as a parameter, containing the failed message selector. Then I can ask this message to resend itself. I use send to self target, which is the instance variable. I resend the message to another object. Be careful, this is a powerful function that can interfere with the legibility of the code. As it's explained here, the code will show who ultimately receives the message. It's very useful for constructing tools and building advanced mechanisms. Another example we'll look at is logging proxy. The basic idea here is to create a minimal object that contains few methods and to customize its does not understand method. Then we'll swap a domain object with this proxy or minimal object using become. First, we create a proxy object. We give the proxy object a subject, which is the object we're going to replace, or the target. We add invocation count to increment the counter with each message. We put the counter in initialize at zero, since it has received no messages. Then we add the subject, which is what will be replaced. Now, we redefine the DNU method on this proxy. Every time a new message is not understood, its reception appears on the transcript and the counter is incremented. Then we forward the message to the subject. Like before, we redirect the message elsewhere. For send to, as you see in the message class implementation, we simply use the perform method with arguments. We already explained this in an earlier course. 
Let's look at an example. How do we use this logging proxy? We'll create an instance, the object point. Then we'll use become, so that everything that points to this point will inadvertently point to a logging proxy, which we instantiate. Now, if we send messages to the object point, noting that become is now an instance of logging proxy, every time we send it a message, it will display in transcript, and the counter will be incremented. This is what we did in does not understand. At the end, the counter shows a value of 3. There are limits to the proxy's framework, as seen in the last example. For example, we can't capture messages an object sends to itself. That gets tricky. We can't use become with classes as reflective models have limitations. It's also risky when the proxy and the object to be replaced both understand the same message. When I send the message to the proxy, it will reply rather than capturing it with DNU and transferring it to the target object. Faro has other more powerful proxy frameworks that trap everything, but they're more complex than this simple example. Another example of how to apply this technique is to dynamically generate accessors, or even methods. Here, I've redefined the does not understand method. I see a message has been received, so I test if I have the instance variables that include the message. If so, I generate a new method using compile to define a new method for the class. This will return the value of the variable. Here, I'm generating the variable's read accessor. If the message sent does not match the name of an instance variable, I send a super does not understand. This enables us to load read accessors automatically, depending on if they've been called or not. In conclusion, We've seen how to use minimal objects. They're not direct instances of the object class, but of the proto-object class. They can be the basis for proxies. By redefining the does not understand method, we can capture the existence of a failed message and then redirect the message. It's a powerful hook that provides the basis of many tools in Faro but you must be very careful when you use it. It's only to be used when necessary. Don't put it in the domain code yet. It's a highly advanced technique.